What's up? Hey, everybody. Sorry, I'm a little later than normal. That's kind of par for the course, so maybe that is normal now. Um, it was a little tricky. Uh, <laughs> I'm running out of disk space on my solid state, and I forgot that I had to re-download Doom Eternal, um, and it just finished downloading. So <laughs> hopefully we don't run into any issues afterwards, but I, I also had to do the, the cardinal sin of installing it on the hard drive instead of the SSD, so we'll we'll see how she performs but yeah um cool well today's stream's going to be a little different in that it's it's sort of a a celebration of like halloween and stuff like that because uh you know doom it's uh it's spooky it's demony but it's also fun uh hey jess uh, welcome. Driving back from the Ren Festival. Okay. You'll have to let us know how it goes when you're actually back. Um, but yeah, we're just uh, going to be getting in on, on some Doom Eternal and sipping some Demons of Ale from Avery Brewing Company, which is a, a discontinued line of beers that they made um that's they stopped making in 2015 or 2016 um i think 2016 yeah um but it's uh it's a series that uh a lot of people really loved um you know they were very sellerable beers um and lo and behold if you go into their tap room um in boulder they still have bottles of it for sale at retail so they're not like upcharging you a, a ton or anything like that for for the vintage uh so w one of the bottles that we'll be sampling today is from the the year of our lord 2010 so uh that was a solid uh seven years before i could even drink <laughs> so um yeah it's uh you know, we've got some vintages to to sample uh, this fine Sunday. Um, I am missing my red light filter that would be kind of fun on the left side here. But uh, maybe I'll find that in between gameplay and bar stuff. But um, cool. Well, thanks for thanks for tuning in. Um, but let's let's pop over to the bar and uh, get our demons of ale poured. What do you say? I think this is the one I put it on. Okay, see you in a sec. Okay, so I'm gonna also, you know, as is custom, check my audio over here. There we go. Volume up, unmute. Um, cool. Well, while I wait for my stream to catch up. Oh, actually. Okay. Okay. So, look at look at that. Also, yep, that's good. You know, as is custom, check my audio. There we go. Um. It looks like because of the dark background, we're lighting weird. Also, um, I need to turn a lamp on. Uh, give me one second, and hopefully that'll help with the, the grayed out areas because it's not very fun. But if it's grayed out, it's grayed out, you know? Not a, not a whole lot we can do right now other than... Someday I need to figure out a better lighting situation that, um, yeah, doesn't put that, like, have the shadow at the very top, but either way, this, this works for now. Um, so yeah, today's brews are, um, uh, the Demons of Ale. Oh, and also, sorry, uh, not to distract again, but, um... No green screen on the bar top today. We're just... I figured that the my, like, reddish-brownish bar top that uh, I already have 
sort of fit the vibe of, uh, you know, doom and hell. <laughs> so, uh, I'm good with it. But, we're gonna just rock the, the, the red-brown countertop today. Um, but, uh, let me grab my flight paddle and we'll get these brews poured. And I think we'll also introduce a third, or I guess fourth um, one to the mix, uh, a late game edition of just Rogue's Dead Guy, because I didn't get a chance to review it on stream this year, and I kind of wanted to again, just to, just to kind of check back in on them, um, and just to, to say that uh, Rogue's, you know, Dead Guy, that's, that's my my quintessential uh, October beer, uh, you know, post-Octoberfest anyways. Like, if, if there was only one brew I could have for the month of October, it would probably be Dead Guy. It's just, uh, maybe it's a psychosomatic thing of uh, just memory association, but um, I, I really associate that flavor profile with Halloween. So, um, yeah. Okay, uh, I need a bottle opener. Um, and these bottles, they're, they're looking, you know, uh, weathered for sure. I mean, this first one, Samuel's Oak Aged Ale, ale flavored with oak chips. This was bottled in March of 2010. Batch number six. So this is, uh, this is an old brew, and uh, I'm. Do you think I need to peel this off, or do you think I can just open the cap, like underneath the all the the foil? I think I might just try. Well, we're already getting it off. Uh, it's a little stuck to it. Maybe not. Hmm. Yeah, never mind. I'm giving up on that, and we're just going to try to open it. And that works fine. That works very fine, and it's got quite the, the <laughs> quite the nose. There's like a, almost an umami note on, on the nose. It reminds me of, uh, you know, what the... Um, Vlod's mead did after a year or two, uh, you know, almost like an olive y smell. Um, not in a bad way, but just, uh, yeah. And I mean, once it's poured and like opens up a little bit, then you get a lot more like, um, you know, pruney, stone fruity um, aromas. So, um, we'll see, we'll see how, how a 13 year old beer handles. And up next, we've got The Beast, which not, not quite 2010, but this one is a, uh, 20, 2015 one. Yeah. July of 2015, The Beast Grand Crew, which on the nose, much more, uh, floral, uh, a lot of like complex sweetness that I'm getting, so that's pretty neat. But whatever hop profile they have on this definitely has, uh, you know, stayed true. So yeah, and oh, that's that's nice. The beast might be my favorite of this lineup tonight. Cause that smells really good. It's like, uh, I guess it's it's reminiscent of, um, like the the dogfish had one twenty minute. It's just a really like rich candied orange, um, mixed with like super intense hop profiles. So I'm happy with it. I think that smells good. And then, lastly, of the demon ones, 
the Mephistopheles Stout. And that had quite the crackle on the on the open. And that it's, it's like a, a funky chocolate on the nose. Okay, all poured up. Yeah, uh, nose on this one is very much. Uh, it's it's got a little bit of that um, umami characteristic on the nose, uh, but paired with like a, a rich dark chocolate. So I like it a lot. That's fun. Okay, um, and then lastly, just for. For funsies, we'll throw a bone over to our our friend, the dead guy. Not that he needs one. He already has a bunch of bones. But this is also, I mean, easily going to be the, the most widely available one uh, <laughs> since these ones I had to get at their tap room. Um, whereas this one, it's, it's available everywhere. And that's just friendly and nice and malty and toasty and familiar, and I like it. Okay, um, cool. I am going to read about our 2010 boy there, which had the least information available, understandably, I guess, but... Uh, their or beer advocate because their website no longer says anything about these three um so yeah i, I turned to beer advocate to get my uh my kicks and gigs and beer advocate says about samuel's that it is a super caramely oak aged strong english style ale brewed with columbus fuggles hops and two row barley caramel 150 l malt and clocks in at 15.82%. Um, so, let's let's give her a sample. And I mean, of all of them, definitely the least amount of head out of uh, all of them. That structure was just not present. So, um, let's get in here. It's very sweet. Um, Right away, that's the first thing I'm going to notice. Um, it's very much plum and brown sugar and richness. Um, a not invisible acidity. Um, it's actually, you know, fairly tart at this point. Um, Really robust, really rich. I would describe it as syrupy. Um, and then, yeah, th so I guess in terms of like a, a tasting experience, um, yeah, plum, brown sugar, um, you know, hints of like milk chocolate, but... Um, demerara sugar and then like sort of fades on the finish into like a little bit of malt but still you know a fair amount of that that uh warming spice and sweetness so yeah that's fun um definitely chewy definitely a syrupy body um cool Okay, on to The Beast, which, again, just off the nose, might be my favorite today, because oh, it's pleasant. It's like a Concord grape, almost. It's like, yeah, just a, a hint of grapiness that I am enjoying. I think this is fun. Yeah, the palette's nice. It's it's bitter, but it's also not like 
I guess flavor wise, it's, it's like just the right amount of hop florality, um, without being like terribly overwhelming. Um, but there is certainly kind of, it, it hits a level of bitterness that like be, it exceeds human comprehension where, where it's just like, um, you register bitterness up to a certain point and then you're like, I know that this is really bitter, but I can't like fathom beyond that. Um, but it's, it's still, it's very tasty. But I also really like bitter things. So if you don't, probably don't get this one. But where, where the other one had more like dark fruit and like toasted characteristics, the, the Samuels, the, um, the beast here has more of, yeah, um, it's not quite so syrupy still still a thicker beer still chewier um but the flavor profile and stuff is much more um floral and perfumey um like orangey zest and uh you know chamomile and the the sugar pr presence is is kind of on the lighter side of the spectrum so more like honey and demerara um versus like a full-blown like molasses or like brown sugar so um but it's it's very it all works together and coalesces into a nice little glass and that is one that i would not be ashamed to get again Yeah, I like it a lot. That is pleasant. But um, lastly, the Mephistopheles. Um, oh, and actually, we should probably read about the beast. So, <clears throat> on the beast. The beast is a seducer. Accommodating, complicated, powerful, dark, and created to last the ages. With the deep burgundy color and aromas of honey, nutmeg, mandarin orange, and pineapple, this massive and challenging brew has flavors akin to a beautiful Caribbean rum. Dates, plums, raisins, and molasses are dominant in rich, vinous texture, uh, cellarable for 10 plus years. The Beast is the first installment of the Demons of Ale series, clocking in at 17.2% ABV. So, also, that is another reason why I'm like tapped out uh, with with these ones. I'm I'm probably not going to finish them if I'm being honest. Um, even like these pours that I've made today, and I will just seal the rest of these with the vacuum in and stick them back in the fridge to enjoy at a later date because that's a very boozy <laughs> uh, glass, and uh, it's that's a lot. <laughs> um, so, um, and then, I mean, you can see it in the description, but, uh, I, I put in all of the, uh, the hop varieties and stuff, um, that they used on, actually, you know what, we're going to read it. Um, never mind. <laughs> hop varieties, Bravo, uh, Bullion, Sterling, Herzbrucker, Columbus, and Styrian, excuse me, Styrian Goldings. Um, malt variety, two-row barley, honey malt, dark aromatic, pale wheat, roasted wheat, and special bee. And then they also added sugar. Well, excuse me. Um, which I, you know, am presuming that's, this is where, like, a lot of those, um, richer and sometimes even floral notes are coming from paired with the hops. It's, it's, they're, like, working in tandem to bring, bring those elements out, but, um, the sugars are dates, molasses, dark Belgian candy sugar, Colorado honey, raisins, turbinado. So I'm wondering, okay, it's not clear to me whether they're saying those are the like tasting notes or if those are the actual sugars used in the brew, but I could see it either way. <laughs> uh, it's, it would not surprise me if all of those were in 
uh, this beer because it's it is sweet. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah. Um, and it's got I mean registers at sixty three IBUs, so um, that's fair. I just feel like that the the bitterness doesn't necessarily correlate to the hop profile. So, um, yeah. Um, still, of the two, that I like that one more than the other. Um, moving on to the Mephistopheles. Um, let's give her a taste. Which retained its head very nicely, but I feel like stouts do that. And it, some of those... Uh, Funkier or umami notes are no longer on the nose. Mm, that's pleasant. That is, you know, if if there was like plumminess on either of those two, that it's more so in this one. Um, it's rich. It is very very molassesy. Um, there's a nice toasted coffee note towards the end that, um, is really, really nice. Like almost, almost akin to a good shot of espresso. Yeah, it's, it's really rich. Um, the front is, is much more like in the, the fruity vein like dark fruits and molasses and stuff and then it, it transitions away from those fruit notes and sweetness into toastier richer um notes for the the finish and the rest of the palette so i like it that's fun certainly a, a richer experience overall um let's see what they say about mephistopheles Mephistopheles is the crafty shapeshifter, the second fallen angel. Amazingly complex, coal black, velvety, and licorice. I do f see that. Um, but it's they it's not licorice like L-I-C-O-R-I-C-E. It's liquor-ish, like L-I-Q-U-E-U-R-I-S-H. <laughs> um, liqueur-ish. Um, this demon is... Uh, this demon has a bouquet of vine-ripened grapes, anise, and chocolate-covered cherries with flavors of rum-soaked caramelized dark fruits and a double espresso finish. I told you. Um, sellerable for 10-plus years. Mephistopheles is the final installment of the Demons of Ale series. And they were... They did wrap that bad boy up. So, um... Yeah, this was one of the last batches, like second to last, I think. Um, malt varieties of roasted barley, black, aromatic special B and two row, yeast variety of West Mall Belgian, hop varieties of Bravo and Sterling. So that is uh, the Demons of Ale. If you want, you can get them at the Avery Tap Room. Um, that's going to be your best bet if you want to try to find them. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I went there a few months or like a month ago, and that's when I, I picked these up. So, um, man, it's, it's giving me the burps. Wow. Um, lastly, our, our little bonus brew, the Rogue Dead Guy. Um, uh, again, I waxed poetic about it a little bit, but it's, it's one of my faves. Uh, we we sampled it last year, I believe, when we went to the Soul Cairn for the first time in uh, in our Skyrim playthrough. So check it out if you want. I think that was still back on the on the main channel when we were streaming over there. But uh, there's a playlist on this channel that includes that video if you want to check it out. Um, but Rogue's Dead Guy Ale, gratefully dedicated to the Rogue in each of us. Dead Guy Ale is a Mybox style ale with a robust malt profile and a sweetness that is balanced by the liberal use of bittering hops. So, um, it is 
much more just like a, a friendly, approachable, <laughs> in comparison anyways, uh, nose, you know, just, just a little bit of toasted, it's like honey on toast, that's, that's what I'm, I'm getting off of, you know, such a, a rich experience overall on those ones. And, I mean, yeah, in comparison, um, it is a, it's a little difficult <laughs> going straight into that because, you know, I, I generally consider Dead Guy uh, not, you know, a super light beer or, uh, you know, I, I generally consider it like a little heftier, but in comparison, that, that goes down like water. That is... Uh, not syrupy in the slightest in comparison it is like just a, a honey toast <laughs> um but there's still like a, a nice malt presence that's like i mean it i mean to me and again a little psychosomatic just because of flavor associations but it tastes like the way you feel when <laughs> like leaves are falling off of a tree in the beginning of fall. Like it's it's got some of that mustiness, some of that like uh, rich aromatic, like earthiness and toastiness that's um, kind of nostalgic. So um, it's kind of a, an Ouroboros, if you will, uh, of <laughs> like, you know, does it taste nostalgic because it actually invokes those flavors or does it taste nostalgic because I've had it during that time every year? I don't know. Um, probably a little mix of both, if we're being honest. Um, but, yeah. So, uh, that's that. Um, I'm ready to go play Doom, but full disclosure, I might be kind of bad at it. Uh... <laughs> If, if I'm being honest, just because I haven't played it since uh, I just looked in, uh, I believe, 2021. Um, because uh, I think that was around the time when I was, uh, yeah, when, when I needed, or when I was moving from Wyoming to Colorado. Um, so I didn't really have time to do it, and then I got to Colorado, and I didn't have time to get back into it so it'll be interesting um i might make a video about it someday but uh it it kind of i played doom at a very like um i don't know for me it was an important time in my life um where i was kind of kind of rudderless, um, not like entirely, but it was, you know, peak, uh, peak pandemic and like, uh, you know, just being unemployed and like <laughs> stuck at my house. Uh, and you know, it is a game that, you know, made me feel powerful in a time where I kind of felt powerless. So I'm excited to dive back in. Um, but um, I, when I beat the game, I decided to hop on the Bethesda gear store, uh, website and buy myself, uh, a little treat as a reward for beating the game. And that was this shirt. So I got, uh, I got this for that, but it has the, the Slayers, uh, logo on the back and, uh, I think it's cool. It's subtle. I mean, minus the fact that it says Doom right there, but um, I like just the 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 emblazoned uh, logo on the back. It's nice. Um, so, see you over there, and we'll see how much, uh, if if anything, I remember about how to play this game. Uh, and we'll yeah, we'll probably just have to start at the beginning again <laughs> just to see. But and we'll see if it actually loads because. There's a, there's a chance that it doesn't, um, <laughs> or that we have some sort of issue. So I look forward to figuring that out with you over there. See you in a second.
Okay, I gotta go grab my phone really quick and then shut off this light and then we'll be good to go. And actually, before I do that, I was thinking I would have a red one in here, but it looks like I took all the red ones out. No, there's one. Okay, come on, come on. No, is that red or orange? Um, it's red enough for me. <laughs> um, cool. One second while I get this switched out and then I'll shut off the lights and grab my phone put a quick little thing up on the the insta and then there we go got that red light going um then we'll play some doom because I haven't played in a long time. Okay, be right back. One second. We're gonna try that. I think that lighting's probably good for us for now. Okay. Give me one little second to get our little Instagram story going so that people can find us from there because I was kind of a goofball and uh, didn't uh, post beforehand, but you know, we. That's generally about how it goes at, at this point. Um, um, let's see. Quench Quest. I also, so I, I went to um, the Five Nights at Freddy's movie earlier today enjoyed that now oh, come on every time i go to take a screenshot it starts playing the stream and i'm trying to get the thumbnail um but yeah i went to to five nights at freddy's uh sat next to a bunch of <laughs> essentially children <laughs> um but it was good you know uh for for being a, a movie adaptation of video game series i think for all intents and purposes i had a fine time with it. I thought it was, I thought it did a good enough job, um, respecting, you know, the, the game lore and stuff like that. Um, I think that it could like, they, they could have definitely leaned a little bit harder into like, um, I think they could have leaned a little harder into jump scares. I don't think they did a very good job of, uh, you know, doing that. Because jump scares can be kind of played out um, in in horror movies and, and a cheap way to scare somebody. But when you're the, the franchise known for that, uh, I feel like you have a, a license to jump scare. So <laughs> maybe that's just me. But... Um, I don't know. That's my opinion on on the matter. Okay. Um I'm saying happy Halloween. Sipping at Avery Brewing Co. Demons Demons of Ale and playing at Doom 
eternal tonight exclamation I'm gonna say happy Halloween almost because technically that's that's gonna be Tuesday but there's I have things to do that day so no we're, we're doing that tonight okay all right on the story this may be a relatively short um, thing. We'll see. Um, we'll see how it goes. Okay. Let's do this thing. <laughs> um, Doom Eternal. Um, I'm hoping that, okay, there we go. Detected the following unsupported Vulcan layers that may cause known issues or crashes. Twitch Studio, uh, sure, we can, we can disable that. We don't use Twitch Studio anyways. Okay, oh, hello. Um, forgot about this. I'm gonna lose my mouse control for a second. Um, or the game's gonna crash. Well, <laughs> oops. Um, I'm gonna try that again. Doom Eternal. Okay. Um. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Is it gonna break our frame rate? Maybe not. I didn't plug my headphones in. I'm a bad person. <laughs> okay. Headphones are in. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Um, okay, I also need to pop my mouse out because right now it's uh, it was full screened. Let's see. Full screen display capture. Uh, stereo. Good. Oops. Uh, hey, here we go. We got the music. Yeah. There we go. Oh, except for, ugh, it looks like I'm, I'm framed weird. I'm gonna fix that in a second, but. I'm doing ray tracing. Come on, come on. We can't not do the ray tracing. Uh, I'm also gonna have to, I think, turn the audio down a little bit on this, uh, just because this this score goes hard. But um, yeah, motion blur off, gross. Uh, weapon Bob, I don't care about it. I guess. Um, mm, Okay, we're good. Battle mode. Oh, is it gonna be, oh, there's gonna be a delay in my, my voice and the camera. Ugh, come on. Okay, come on, thank you. Dread Knight playable demon. Rock on. Well, I love that it's saved some of my skins. Um, okay. Uh, I do need to fix. Let's see. Extra snow. Customize. Uh, this is not what I wanted to customize. I wanted to... Okay, sorry. I know that that's probably way too loud. So, uh, also, to not get out of the game, I think I'm just going to drop the master to 75 and 
Hopefully that's enough to not blow your eardrums. Um, okay. What I really want is window mode. How about borderless windowed? Because that way I can then get my mouse out of the game. <laughs> I need to. Uh, obviously enable HDR. Come on. Um, although that might create some issues for us here, but we'll find out. Resolution. Uh, I kind of want to go native. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. Um. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a big fan of Ultra Nightmare on everything, but I'm also afraid because we're already lagging a little. The camera is behind everything else, so <sighs> we might just have to call it there for now. Uh, no, I don't want to discard them. I want to apply them. And, oh, that that really bombed our frame rate. <laughs> I mean, the, the game frame rate's gonna be fine, but my camera, I don't know what it is, but my webcam has such a hard time keeping up with uh, when the game is, is like, you know, looking good. So, uh, oops. Also, Stereo, I'm glad, I'm glad that you, uh, you agree uh, with uh, my motion blur assessment. Um, and yes, I, Technically, I am going to start a new run. Um, I played through this game uh, about two years ago at this point. Um, I picked it up two years ago, played through it for like uh, a few months, and then played through it a lot after I beat it the first time. And it was good. Um, well... Sorry about the frame rate stuff, uh, but the game's gonna look good. It's just I'm gonna be moving really slow, and I don't know how to fix that. So uh, enjoy, <laughs> enjoy me being really slow. I'll try just to to not do a lot with my face. I think. Um, all right, I want to customize my Slayer because right now. We're rocking the, the Viridian Empyrean. But I want to do something a little bit. Okay, maybe not Christmas. Maker, Fallen, Evergreen. <laughs> you can tell I got into some of the, you know, cosmetics during the early online stuff. Um, Barbarian's fun. Uh, I do like the the 2016 Doom one. Let's see, so there's default. Uh, I think Hellforged is honestly one of the no. Yeah, I do like Hellforged. Um, one of them came with uh the version of the game that I bought, and he's like. It's Demonic Slayer, that's what it is. Yeah, because he's like on fire. That's cool. But I think I think we should just go classic Doom Marine with the, the ripped open abs. I think I think this is this is what we gotta do. Um yes, that's fine. Okay, and go back and go back and play the campaign. You know, we could I do I do kind of want to just jump in really quick cuz it will it'll it'll open with us on the Fortress of Doom. And I love the Fortress of Doom, okay? Can can we just talk about this for a second? This is just like the Doom guy's personal bachelor pad and it's kind of funny. Pure maker technology. Hello Samuel. By yes. And refined by their divine intellect. Its destructive potential is staggering. Yep. I'm going to my secret bedroom. I want to show it off to my friends. 
so obviously I'm missing at least a couple of the little collectibles around the game, but you unlock these little uh, toys <laughs> throughout your, your playthrough. And uh, I was pretty good about finding all of them. So I, I think, uh, you know, for the most part, um, I found, found most of them. Um, missed, yeah, obviously I missed like the carcass and a couple others, but some, some good little, uh, things. And while I'm not a Funko Pop guy, apparently Doom Guy is a, a bit of a, a Funko Pop dude, uh, cause he's got his little wall there. Um, so yeah, um, let's see. I do like... Also, there's so many inside jokes. I can't even begin to, like, uh, talk about all of them. But I'm pretty sure all of these have, have some kind of joke associated with them. Um, it's just nice to see his, his sick little pad here where he's got his... Uh, his uh, all of his collectible weapons. The... <laughs> The sword and stuff, and the unmakers. It's fun. It's cool. Um, I think at one point there was a guitar there before you actually get this. No, the guitars are over here. Yeah, <laughs> under the the giant skull. It's fun. Um, one also really fun thing about this, I mean, he's, you, you can tell he's a bit of a gamer. He's got the, the triple monitor set up. <laughs> um, but uh, he also, if you go over here, this computer, you can play <laughs> the original Doom game, <laughs> uh, which, like, fully functions in... In Doom, you can play, uh, OG <laughs> Doom in, uh, in this game. They, they kept it really meta. You know, maybe we need to do a, a playthrough of these. Got us some armor bonuses. Got him. I really should go play the real game, but I just wanted to show off that you can do this. Come on, come at me. I just think it's funny that this is an option. Okay, oh, where? <laughs> it is it is wild to see how far this game came. Oh, hey, hey, excuse you. Hey. I almost died there. Honestly, I'm probably going to die. Ooh, big gun. Oh, space is not, what is jump? I can't hit enter to jump, are you kidding me? Oh, that's a med kit. Huh. I really hate, oh, come on. I hate these where you can't like pan up. It feels very unnatural to me. Okay, which way am I supposed to go? We're gonna we're just gonna play this till I die, and I'm gonna be real lazy about protecting myself, so uh I'll probably be dead and then we can play the real game. But I have the option. I can't not. Uh, how about this way? That's a neat trick. Oh, armor. Okay. Well, we we picked all that up. But what about? Hmm. 
How do we get out of here? Guess not that way. Can we... There really isn't a jump button. Unless I'm... I don't... Yeah, I don't think you could jump either. I think, uh... But it's, it's just so ingrained in me to jump in this game that, like... I'm like, I don't... I don't know, uh... It's like part of my whole, oops, oopsies. It's, you know, it's part of how my brain uh, says to go about playing this game. So, was there another door in here that I missed or, or stairs or something? Huh, I can't look up. And this says it's an exit, but Oh, it is. Freaking okay. Alright, someone kill me. Ooh, I got two of them. I feel like I'm still gonna die. I'm still gonna die, it's fine. Uh. Oh, hey there, bud. Hello? Did I? Oh, nope. Alright, all these zombie marines. Wow. You know, I'm... I should have just chosen the most difficult uh, setting. Hmm. Oh, hi. Ooh. Okay, well. We already went this way, but we might as well explore a little more. Hello? Hmm. Wow, my computer sounds like it's trying to take off again. Oy, oy, oy. I really, okay, I gotta be done with this. <laughs> we'll, we'll go back and we'll play a, a real mission. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, there was a switch in there. You're right. Um, yeah, no, I, I would much rather play the the one that I can actually jump in. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Um, really, I should just uh, exit to main menu. Yep, thank you. And try this again. We're going to just try. No, 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 no. Thank you, thank you. Campaign. Game slot one. Mission select. There we go. So we've, you know, we've we've maxed out on uh, all of our uh, collectibles and stuff on all these maps, I'm pretty sure. Oh, uh, except for, nope, yep, yep, okay. Um, Hell on Earth. That is what we're going to do. Just the, the first mission. So this is going to be the safest entry. Um... If you haven't played this game, um, this is going to be a good, like, y you know, this is just the beginning of the game. So uh, we'll see you later, Stereo. Uh, we're going to have fun. Uh, feel free to <laughs> rewatch the, the real gameplay here. Um, but uh, it's a fun game. So I, I kind of want to get in back into the online stuff. Against all the evil that hell can conjure. Mm. All the wickedness that mankind can produce, we will send unto them. Only you. Rip and tear until it is done. That I shall.
Looks like uh, Earth isn't doing so hot. Sounds like a job for the Doom guy. In his <laughs> spaceship castle. Pray that he is watching. Please, anyone, if you can hear me, if you're out there. And that he is. He is watching. Also, I love Vega so much. Nearly 60% of our planet has been consumed by the invaders. Let's get them. We have the Hell Priest signal locked in. The target is marked, but the signal will not hold for long. For it is he that they fear, not man or his armies. They fear the mark of the beast. This also just makes me really mad that we don't have a soundtrack for this game available. All right, let's do this. I have located three seconds. I will mark it on your hunt. Appreciate it, Vega. Um, one second. Oh, oops, excuse me. That was not on purpose. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I just need to. I want to. I think I need to turn the the main volume down just another smidge because this is a very loud game Dag Nylox's chamber let's do this all right who's up Where are we going? Hmm. Do I go up? Alright. Reached us a little checkpoint. Oh, hello. There we go. Good to go. Ah. Like our marines are a bunch of zombies. Nice. Oop. I'm getting back into it. I'm. I'm. Not, I feel like I haven't really lost it yet. I wish, uh, you know, we had a little bit more of the fun music going on right now, but I'll take it. We might have to switch. Oh, we do have to switch guns. Whoops. I'm out of shotgun shells. I need my grapple. It's like how I live. Hey, buddy. All right. Shotgun shells. Wish I saw those sooner. All right, any, anybody else see any shotgun shells? Only got 15 shots left. Well, I guess we didn't need that. Uh, the helmet would have come in handy, but whatever. 
All right, we're in here. Dag Nylox. I wouldn't be so sure. I sure can. That's what I'm talking about. He was a demon jerk anyways. Yeah, Earth is uh, not doing well. I love that the game just like gets you gets you into it like so fast like that. Also, these guys definitely some of my my favorites in the whole game. They're uh I don't know what I forget what they're Titans, but they're they're fun. I like them. They seem uh kind of like sad almost. Uh I think, you know, they're sad sympathetic characters if I if I had to put a name to it. All right, blasted. Well, I wasted a shot. All right. All right. Okay, what's good, what's good? Where am I supposed to go? Down, perhaps, mayhaps? Hmm. I'll try spinning. That's a neat trick. No. I think I am supposed to go down. Yeah, there we go. Got him. All right. Got you. Gotcha. Oh, I hate these guys. All right, well, we gotta keep it moving. There we go. Okay. Got you. All right, what's good? Hello, oh, hey, hey, pardon me. <laughs> oh, that's so gross. Just punching his head into him. All right, what, what gun should we use right now? Uh, I'm still feeling this one. Nice. We're good to go. Okay. Hip, hip, uh, hip, up, up. And onward, I suppose. Wonder what we're going to find in here. And I want, I actually want my, uh, my, my normie shotgun out. I gotta figure out. I mapped all these to buttons, and I just gotta remember which buttons. Alright, well, we're gonna stick with this one for now, but the shotgun is my, my absolute favorite, so... hard to beat. All right. Got him. 
Yep. Gotcha. Alright, uh, yeah, we'll use that. Gotta take care of his gun, then take care of him. And then jam his own arm into his eye. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Let's see, who else? You, you. All right. Keep our shotgun shells up. Uh, I want to. I still want to get him. You don't have to kill everybody, but like, sometimes I just feel incomplete if I don't. All right. Got our shotgun shells loaded out. Yep. Yep. Thank you. Climb a wall. Grab a card. A yellow key card. Ah, hi. Gotcha. All right, down into the subway with us. This is one of my my favorite sections, unironically, I think. Ugh, low ammo. All right. The cleansing of Earth is a necessary step. Gotcha. Ah, there you are. I remember this was so hard the first time I did it. Um, oh, hey, whoa, hey, excuse you. Not cool, dude. Oh, I'm, I am running low on ammo, though, which is not fun. All right, um, that's a bummer. Out of ammo on literally everything except for the, the giant bazooka, which has 11 shots. All right, well, uh, whoops, I walked right into that. My fault. All right, well, we got 30 shots now. Do a little finisher. All right, we're loaded up. Looks really gross in this subway station. Love to see it. A little health. We are completely out of armor though, which is not what I like to see. All right, give me my shotgun, thank you. Cacodemon. Let's see, how do we want to get you, huh? Like that. All right, excuse me. Let's 
Excuse you. Okay, I love that you're giving me health, but like, I really need armor. Oh, there's some. Oop, ran into the ceiling. You? Ooh, that was the armor I needed. That's what I'm talking about. All right, who's 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 got a big gun that I hear? I feel like there's one of those uh, brains, arachno, whatevers. Gotcha. Nice. There, no. That, yeah, there he is. Hello. Nice. <laughs> Push. <laughs> I've never gotten that, that kill animation before. That was kind of funny. All right, we're low on ammo on that one. We should conserve it. Oh, another. Another. All right, what's gonna be the best? Yeah, we'll go with that. Ooh, that's a good one. Cool. Cool. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. Uh, I think... It's still going to be our... Oh, nope. I'm going back to the shotgun. Thank you. Let's get in there. The UAC will support during this transition. Your suffering continues to inspire us. Thank you. I'm glad my suffering is inspiring someone. <laughs> hey. Hey. Hey, you watch it. What I tell you. What I tell you. Ooh, armor. Question is, can we get to it from here? I don't think we can get to it from here. But I think we can turn around and, and jump up to it. I think we'll be fine. Oop. Whoops. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think what we have to do is hit this. Let's see. Turn around. Try jumping up like that. Nope. Hmm. I know if we jump... Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll do it this way. Up, there we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Which is a dumb turn of phrase, but a turn of phrase nonetheless. Okay. Good to go. Hey! Oh, come on. I hate those. I forgot about that. <laughs> those have some serious jump scare potential. <laughs> G 
Gotcha. Come on, try something. Okay, guess guess there's no tentacle to be had. Nice. Oh, oh, come on. Up. Nope. Ow. How dare you? Oh, I think there was just a collectible in here the first time around. Yeah, I, I don't think, uh, I don't think it's actually an important, uh, thing. Okay. Hello, Caco Demon. I'm glad a couple point-blank shotgun blasts are enough to take care of him. All right, well, we're almost, almost there, I think. Oh, I forgot about this arena. This one's fun. Ow. Up. Ooh, armor. Don't mind if I do. Okay. This is the thing I love about this game. It keeps you moving, but like you're kind of always like capable. It's good. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Want my shotgun back. Okay. Who's next? Who am I missing? Because I know I have more people to take care of before I can get out of here. Hello. Oh, hi. And now we start another wave. Yes? No? He wasn't the one. You. All right, next wave. Yeah, one of our friends. The the big fellas, the spider ones. Ah, there you are. Got him. Wow, we're we're low on a lot of ammo. That's what I'm gathering. What is gonna be our best weapon for now? I guess this one, it's not my favorite, but I'll take it. There we go. Sorry about the camera frame rates. I just looked at that, that was abysmal. Uh, I've got stuff to do to get better about that, but. All right. All right, somebody give me some armor already. Oh, come on. All right. You know what we're gonna do too? Uh, campaign difficulty. I'm I'm bumping up to ultra violence because hurt me plenty isn't isn't hurting me plenty. Uh, 
All right, we're low on ammo on literally everything. This is not ideal. Think there's any ammo on the ground? Hey. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um. Yeah, we literally only have two different ammo types right now. What the heck? All right. Okay, got that guy, got that guy. We have literally just four bazooka blasts left. That's like it. <laughs> okay. All right. So, good enough. She is inside that demonic citadel. I will mark her location on your HUD. Appreciate it, Vega. All right. And some shotgun shells. Hello. All right, we're gonna choose the safer of the, the shotgun options to conserve ammo, but the double, sh the double barrel shotgun is just underrated as hell. Let's get in here. The gathering of hell priests is located just above your location. Okay. My scans indicate there is a lift at the center of this facility. All right. Let's ascend the citadel chamber. Also, something to appreciate, and I'm gonna do the nerd thing, but the guy singing this portion, his his voice is not pitched down. This is his actual intonation, like, and just the his the pitch that he sings at, like he he's uh, quite the the throat singer, and uh, I find it impressive every time I I hear it. And again, makes me very disappointed that Bethesda couldn't just pay Mick Gordon what he uh, is owed, and instead uh, we're just never going to have the uh, Doom Eternal soundtrack, because this would have been a banger on vinyl. Are you kidding me? All right, let me in. The con maker is present at this gathering. Cool. When outside of her domain, she is by all accounts indestructible. She's a jerk. She's also the voice of uh, Asajj Ventress and like, uh, I think, and also voices in Skyrim. I'm the hey come on. I'm the the doom guy. The doom slayer. Stops nothing. The sacrament of this world to the great con maker will be made. And the energy will be restored once again. Mm. As it's written from the souls of the non-believers. Oh you dags. <laughs> you go too far this time. You cannot interfere. This is humanity's chance to repent, to give service to us. You cannot resist the will of the Khan Maker. Yes, I can. I'm the Doom Slayer. For it was you who was meant to. Ooh, what? What? So, yeah, that's um, that's Hell on Earth. That is the uh, first mission in Doom Eternal. I do think, uh, you know, and okay, 
it's it gets really arcadey with like the with the sound effects and stuff like that but i feel like it makes this game just work beautifully it's nice uh and of course i don't think we actually earn any rewards because we've already played that mission before but um yeah cool um i'm gonna return to campaign save what he earned but abandon the currently selected mission uh what if i uh no um i'll just hit save and exit uh yes it's gonna kick us out to the main menu i think or it'll just kick us back to i think it did um i do want to just go back to our um our little fortress of doom but uh yeah you know I, this game is really fun um so that you know if you enjoyed the the hell on earth portion there i know it's a little graphic but it's incredibly fun and uh if you you know can get good um with the that like very aggressive combat style while also i mean you're you're constantly in this dance of like running for your life but also like keeping your opponents on their toes too um and it's it's very fun um and i didn't get enough into the online portion to actually like um this is the resistance network in ooh. what will hopefully be our final broadcast oh yeah spoiler people, alert sorry <laughs> to anyone listening the demonic horde has been defeated the beast identified by arc scientists as the icon of sin was destroyed earlier today by the slayer himself yeah spoiler alert eventually you beat the bad guys <laughs> With the threat decreased, it is important now more than ever that we come together. There is hope. The human race will persevere. Many of the survivors believe the Slayer to be a godlike figure in what was a battle between good and evil of biblical proportions. I mean, they're not As wrong. As humanity struggles to understand what happened to them and why, many look to the Slayer now for answers, but his whereabouts remain unknown he's in a space castle he's his space castle bachelor pad with his his friend samuel samuel uh i forget his name samuel something he's a man who turned himself into a robot and then plugged his body into the castle in the in space it's a weird game okay but it's a lot of fun um so i I can't recommend this game enough. I think that the beers that we paired were very uh, poignant and uh, made a lot of sense to sample with this particular game and around this particular time of year. So uh, I hope you agree. Um, but uh, yeah. I, you know, I, I don't really want to get into another mission at this point, um, but I hope that was enough to uh, give you a, a, a taste, and that was certainly enough to uh, wet my whistle in terms of, uh, <laughs> you know, playing some, some Doom Eternal again, and kind of wants me, gets me in the mood to play it more, but I don't know if I would do it on stream if i do i really gotta figure out how to fix this uh camera lagging stuff again sorry about that it's um it's tricky um and i don't know why it does that um because i don't i also don't want to like crank down the quality of the the gameplay because i mean that's i love having <laughs> some some uh nice looking gameplay so i don't know We'll, we'll figure it out, though, eventually. Um, in the meantime, uh, I think that is going to do it for me because uh, I don't want to get into another mission. Um, so I think that we should just... Uh, ooh, actually, I think what we can do 
in our, I mean, I'm just doing a little exploring here, but, um, we'll play, we can play, uh, some of the music from other, other games. That is not the one I want to play, actually. Um, the one I want to play is off in a tower, I think, in this direction, if I remember correctly, but it's, a. Uh, it's a it's a funny one. Ooh, actually no, we're we're playing some some rip and tear. While uh while I also go find the other song cuz there's a, you know, another song that I would rather play. But this will this will scratch the itch for the time being. Get us doomed up. Hmm. No. Where is this? This castle, this space castle, is a bit of a maze in terms of uh, figuring out which direction you're supposed to go. Mm. And I don't remember where the tower is that I really. Oh, I think it's this way. Yeah. Not that one. I think it's I think it's all the way across here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's our Praetorian outfit. This is what I wanted to listen to. <laughs> the most banger soundtrack of them all. <laughs> You've got to eat your vegetables. <laughs> By Commander, you're from Commander Keen. So we're gonna be playing some of this. This is, uh, this is really what's gonna, you know, get you ready to slay some demons. Yep. This this music is what really makes me want to kill a bunch of demons. <laughs> if I could just have this on loop in every mission, oh, you, I'd be banging, be banging out some Commander Keen. Well, I think that's going to do it for us. <laughs> uh, but uh, thanks for tuning in to our, our Doom Eternal and uh, Demon Beer stream. Um, I hope you enjoyed the review of the beers. Felt a little scatterbrained, but, you know. Um, I still think it was pretty good. Um, and I think that those beers are also pretty, pretty phenomenal. Um, I am... You know, enjoying the the uh, the beast the most, but uh, uh, yeah. So check them out. Um, I think that'll do it, and I'm gonna exit to the desktop um, and get my uh, chatting camera back on. Just uh, so yeah. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, I, you know, I would love to get into a little bit more Doom Eternal playthroughs sometime. If I had, you know, infinite time to play games, I would totally be doing that. Um, just play every game that I love. <laughs> uh, but I don't have infinite time. So instead, I'll play like snippets of games I love when I have a, a beverage to pair with the game. Um,. But yeah, I hope uh, hope you enjoyed. Hope you had fun tonight. It's a shorter stream, but uh, yeah, um, you know we're we're keeping it keeping it tight, keeping it quick. Um, we're definitely. I mean, I'll, I'll stream on Wednesday too. Um, 
I haven't decided what we're going to play on Wednesday. We could end up hopping back into Moria, but um, I still have to figure that game out before I'm confident playing it um, live more. Um, I don't know. We might we might start Baldur's Gate. No promises, but um, yeah, it sort of depends. But I'll keep you posted. You know, uh, we'll. I'll uh, post something on Instagram and we'll we'll do that. But yeah, uh, happy Halloween, and uh, well, I'll see you. I'll see you on November first. So, till then, everybody. Um, cheers, and see you next time. <laughs>